So here we are sitting inside an old um, subway car and this sort of brings back memories of the trolley buses in Trinidad, right? We didn't have any trams, or, well we had trams, we didn't yeah, have trams. any underground. But yeah, um, what do you remember about the trolley buses, David? Well, I was, was fascinated by the trolley buses because of the musical song that they made when they, when they started off and when it stopped. And I, I, I grew up with the trolley buses. And um, I was a little, little boy when I was taking my first ride and I don't know what it is about this trolley bus, but I was so fascinated by it. Every time they said, my grandmother would say, look, we're going to town. I get excited because I know they're taking me on the trolley bus. And so they had 30 trolley buses, so yes. which was your favorite one? Well, they were all to me the same, but uh, I can't tell her a favorite. They, they, they all made the same song. The, the older ones, the newer ones, made a, they, they, they were more uh, advanced, they had more horsepower. Mm -hmm. And they, had, they were the first buses in Trinidad to have an automatic door to open and close. Open, right, and that was the door in the center, the wasn't center it? center door. Yeah. The older ones had, a, had an open back door. And um, now the driver's compartment was separated from the rest of the bus, so the driver could, did not know when the car passengers came on board and, and it was ready to, and the bus was, was able to move off. So the conductor would ring the, ring the bell twice, ding, ding. Right. So the driver knew that he can move, proceed with his journey. And then he wanted to get off and ring the bell once, ding. And <laughs> I used to go to St. Crispin CC and um, Arapita Avenue, and we took the trolley bus four times a day. To go to, to go to school in the morning, to come home for lunch, midday, to go back after lunch, to come back at, 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 after school was over on evenings. And you know, I used to take extra private lessons on evenings uh, at the school. And when I was going home from school... You left I your bags on the trolley bus one day, didn't you? Once I left my bag of books on the trolley bus, I don't know why. Because when we go, to, when we go home for lunch on midday, we wouldn't take our bag of books home. So I don't know what was wrong, but I forgot to take my bag. But my father drove, he rode his bike to the railway station. So this is how it used to be. The driver used to be right here. Mm -hmm. And it, he was blocked off from the rest of the bus. Right. So the, the conductor had a ting, ting, mm -hmm. ring the bell twice. Right. And then you know he had to move. Yes. And if he wanted to ring the bell, what? Ding, then stop. Mm -hmm. We used to play with the bell <laughs> children, school children. Oh, yeah? You used to yeah, play with the bell, ding, ding. So you go through the back door here, mm -hmm. and you go sit down there. And I even have the... Um, you have the chain? <laughs> I didn't put it in, but I have the, um, the, the, the hands to hold on. Oh, but yes, okay. What I used to do every day, instead of getting off at a stop at Gallica Street, I'll get off at a stop by La Perouse, opposite cemetery, where it was opposite the garage, where they had the trolley buses. And that was where, that was TN Tech um, area there, too. Just to look at the trolley buses in the garage. I was so fascinated. Then I used to go around to the back of the garage and look at them again, parked in there, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And um, my mother used to take me and my brother to Kokorit right. every Sunday after church. We'd go to Kokorit and um, the trolley bus. The trolley bus would be with Mark Kokorit Bonds Road. It would go up Travelish Road, down Travelish Road, past the Roxy Theatre, into George, into uh, Circle Road, into Kathleen Street, down George Cabal Street, and back on the Western Main Road, all the way to Kokorit. And then we turn around, turn around, and every Sunday we get that. You remember the time when um, you pushed ahead of the lady in the trolley bus? Oh. What, what number trolley bus was that, and what actually happened that day? Well, my, myself, my brother, and a friend called Kelvin, you saw opposite us. He, he wanted to. Um, we, we went for a walk to the railway station, and we were making a decision either to go uh, for a trolley bus ride, either by Mukurapo, mm -hmm. by the sea, right. or to see his school. He used to go to Belmont in the middle. So. I decided let's go to Belmont to to see a school. Mm -hmm. So now, now they had two trolley buses there, number 20, I don't remember if it was 23 or 21 or whatever. And the other one behind was number five going to Belmont. Right. So I was anxious to get on board and, this, and I didn't wait my turn and I was rushing to get on board. <laughs> and I think I bounced this lady, a mid-lazy lady. The lady got angry uh -huh. and started to fret. Oh, you only did that? So, we didn't we, we have no manners, and, and you only did that? Then, uh, complain and argue. We went as along on the bus, and the conductor came to get the money. And the woman threatened all the way up here. She the woman threatened, she had a little girl with her. Threatened, mm -hmm. threatened, threatened. And I did not say a word. Mm -hmm. I did not answer back because I don't want my father to find out. Right, because you get, you get into trouble yes, in those days. those days, you, you couldn't answer back anybody. Right. And, uh, and from that, I never pushed to go on a bus from that time. I was with her up to this day. So yeah. what was it that made you paint? I mean, wh which was the first trolley bus you painted? You remember? I was a little boy, 
I used to go and I paid number fifteen. Right. That yeah. that was it. That was the sketch that you showed me. Yes, number fifteen. And, and then when you um after that, which was the, which was the one you painted next? Which was the first trolley bus scene in Port of Spain? The true painting you did. Oh, the one with Green Corner. Mm -hmm. No, before that, I did one, and I sold it at Miss Atticat Gallery. I don't remember where it was. I think it was on Park Street. And uh, that's not the one with the gentleman in front picking up. No, no, no. Coin in the no, road. No, before that, I painted I painted one, and I sold it at Miss Atticat Gallery, and mm -hmm. that time was Salvatore Building. But um, my so, grandfather too, he took me on a trolley bus ride one night uh, to Mukurapo and brought me back. And in those days, you know, it, it was a very quiet time. And my my uncle would take me for a ride in the tram car around the Savannah. That was the same one that took the, the, the photograph? Yeah, right. What was his name again? M uncle Malcolm. Uncle Malcolm. Malcolm, yes. That, that was your, your father's brother? Father's brother, yes. Right. My mother, the last tram car ride I remember I got, my mother took me to see my grandfather. And Oxford used to live Oxford Street at the time, I think. And um, we were running from a crab. You're running from a crab? <laughs> a crab. You see, look at a crab coming, we run to get to the tram car. No, the tram car would take us to Dong Ferry Street to transfer station. Right. We transfer to the trolley bus and then right. go. Because there was a space for the transfer station, the crab right. yes. park and Frederick. Yes. We take the trolley bus to go home. Then um, the trolley buses were, they, 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 they put a route to Belmont. Right. They opened a Belmont route. One night we were taking a walk, my grandmother and my aunt and a friend. She was a, she she was a, starting to be a nurse. So we we walk, we walk out to where the hospital area was there. Then we took a walk around by Jeringham Avenue there, um, the Valley Savannah, and I saw a trolley bus. I said, look at trolley bus <laughs> because they started running them to Belmont. Mm -hmm. So my grandmother's sister lived in Belmont. So every now and again they would take us take me to a ride to see. We used to call her Tanti Nora. The seat that in the Belmont. And the, 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 the Norfolk Street was right no, not far from the house. The house was on Clifford Street. That's Norfolk your house Street. in Woodbrook? Yeah, no, no, in Belmont. Oh, in Belmont, sorry. Yeah, yes. Yeah. That's her sister used to live there. Okay. So she lived on Clif Clifford Street. And Norfolk Street uh, was right there near Clifford, with a right angle to Clifford right, Street. Right, right. So we would see the trolleys up and down going to, going to, um, to the Belmont Circular Road. They would go, go up Norfolk Street. Turn on the bicycle road and go all the way back around to Charlotte Street, and there was a Roxy bus. We would take the bus from Woodbrook and Trackridge Road. We would come from Roxy, it is to run by Roxy Theatre. Mm -hmm. And we go to Belmont with that bus. And when the bus coming back to Woodbrook, it will, it will be marked Roxy Corner. Right. It will go, come right along the other two. Yes. And Sundays they used to run the new the newer buses. Right. And the older ones would just run to Belmont alone. But on Sundays they used to run the, the new So the new buses were the ones with the automatic doors yes, in the center. Right. And they ran those on Sundays. Oh yeah, they hardly run the older ones on Sundays. Oh, wow. But except the Belmont. Oh, right, yeah. right. But they'll run them and during the week when they have rush hour and so on. Right. And during the week, I used to look, I used to make a study of these buses. They run five buses on our Peter Avenue and five on Travis Road. During rush hour, mm -hmm. and after rush hour, they bring them down to three. Right. So that will run three until midnight. Right. And that will be the end of it. A man told me one day he used to drive trolley bus. He told me that one night they had a, they ran a race to see who will reach the garage first. Mm -hmm. And his bus was going down Shagish Road and the other fellow bus going down Peter Avenue. And they was running the race to see who will reach the garage first. And he hit a car coming out of a garage, back mm -hmm. out of a garage. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, all these stories. You yeah, know. well, these are things that we want to record yes. for posterity. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So right. where was it you saw that um, number nine broken down that time? Was it nine? Oh, number nine. Yeah, that was number the one that was le least reliable, right? Well, I don't, sometimes they, I think so, but because um, number nine, you used to have a problem. I don't know what it was, if it was the motor or what, but um, it would break down every now and again. And one day, number nine broke down in front of the school. Right. And they sent another one, number 26, to replace number 9, because they always had buses to replace anyone um, that would break down. Right. And number 9 was, they pushed it to get it to start, and they took it to the garage mm -hmm. to fix it. And they brought number 26. And number 26 was on the same spot. It broke down as well? The same spot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But the only trolley buses were very fun to ride, yeah. and, you know. Well, there were 30 and, of them, right? Yes, 30 of them, but they were, they, were, they were dangerous because people could hear them when they were coming. Yeah, they used to call it the what? Silent killer. The silent killer. And yeah. people got killed because mm -hmm. there's a, a, a report of a man, he was from Grenada, he was riding a bicycle, and he was coming from Victor, Victoria Square, 
go into a repeat, a repeat of a shop, I think Park Street. Mm -hmm. Because Victoria's car, that part of Victoria's car is Park Street. And he got knocked down by a trolley bus. Mm. It was number three bus. Number three? Number yeah. three had wooden seats. I'll never forget number three had wooden seats. Oh, that's yeah. right. And the others had better seats? No, some of them had, you know, some had soft seats and some had Hard wooden seats. seats. But number three had wooden, had wooden seats. Yeah. I'll never forget. Like a park <laughs> bench, you know? Yeah, number yeah, three. yeah. And number 15 was a little smaller. 16 was a smaller, smaller size bus. Mm -hmm. They came after, you know, 15 and 16 came after. The first batch of 14. Right. But um, I, there, there were three buses that was keeping the garage all the time. I don't know why. Number 8, number 12, number 14. <laughs> so really? why did they not run them? And then one day they run, they, they put out number 14 again. I, I traveled on every one. I knew them by number. You traveled on every single one of them? Yes. I knew them by number 11. Mm -hmm. Number 11 seemed to have some problem. I think they, 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 it, it was um, discontinued. They had it there. Yeah. They took off the poles. And they, 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 like, I don't know if they strapped it, but it was, but inside the, you can see how the wood was, to me, the wood was rotting. I don't know, I, but maybe I was wrong to say rotting, but maybe mm -hmm. the type of wood they used. But the older buses had, a, the interior was made of wood. The exterior was metal, but the interior was wood, mm -hmm. you know, the ceiling. And, um, but the, the conductor was really better, ting, ting. <laughs> and yes, and oh my, but the, 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 that musical song. I, am see, I, I hear it on the subway sometimes here in this country mm -hmm. and on the New Jersey transit trains that use electric going to, um, I'm not talking about the locomotive drawn trains, but the ones that use the overhead wires. Right. They, they have a song like the similar to the trolley bus. Yeah. You know, although they're more powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, I drove on trolley buses in Canada, but they didn't sound like the one in Trinidad. Right. Not I was disappointed. I said, why? Well, you say, this is not what I know. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, that musical song, man, I'll never forget that. I used to hear it again one day. As a little boy, I used to make it, I used to, I used to make, imitate it, but no one can, the voice can't be. <laughs>